pulled back a, a 180 degree turn on the hind quarters. Try and make it so that he understands that he's to balance on his back feet and move his front feet around 180 degrees and try and keep it as tight as I can in the turn. I try and keep everything as correct as I can. So I wanna make sure that he understands each element of the rollback so that I can correct it as time goes on. So the elements I need is that he stops, he softens when he stops, he backs up with his weight on his hind feet to take weight off his front feet so that I can move his front feet around. I'm gonna give him some direction with an inside rein and then when I steer him around there, I won't drag him through the turn. I wanna tip his nose and lead him through the turn and push from the outside so that I push his front feet and his front feet move away from my outside aid being my outside rein and my outside leg. And just me focusing on where I wanna to leave to, which is the same track that I came in. If they're doing it incorrectly, that you pull them up and you don't let them leave, so you could do a complete turn and then leave. Whatever you accept in your rollback is what you're gonna get left with, and that's what he's gonna think is correct. So I wanna make sure that I can keep it slow enough and break it down so that he starts to understand what alignment, which is the bend, I need and what frame over his back is required for this exercise. So I want him to be like a little coiled spring. So as I draw him back, he compresses and then I ask his front feet to step through and then he can push off with his back end. But you can work on your turns. You get to work on a backup. And you can keep everything slow and correct. So later on when you speed things up or you do it from a canner, canner stop turn, he has some sort of a foundation.